Hello and welcome back to the Chronicles AFC Daily with me, Harry Simiou. Granit Xhaka has played down the chances of him leaving Arsenal this summer. When asked if he'd be on the move, the Swiss midfielder told publication Blick, not that I know, I have another four years contract and I only signed last year. I'm happy there and my family are too. That's the most important. Now there has also been talk of Granit Xhaka being made club captain next season and when asked if he'd be pleased with taking on the armband, he responded by saying it certainly would be the dot on the eye. So perhaps Granit Xhaka isn't going anywhere after all. 55 million euros for him. I think deep down none of us thought that that would happen. Uh, football is a funny old game though. So whilst you can never rule anything out, it seems as though those whispers were nothing more than a bit of false gossip. Celtic left-back Kieran Tierney continues to be linked with a move to Arsenal, but it's important to stress that these reports aren't based on any inside information. They're based solely on the fact the bookmakers have made quite a substantial adjustment to the odds of him joining. I guess they may know something we don't. They're very rarely wrong, but we don't know more than that at this stage. And we continue to be linked with the double signing of Dennis Pryor and Joachim Anderson of Sampdoria. It's understood Arsenal will return with a bid of 50 million euros, having had their initial offer of 42 million euros knocked back for the pair. There is, however, interest in both these players, though, from a number of European clubs. And so this deal is still a long way off of happening. Yannick Carrasco has told the media there is now an offer on the table and the negotiations with my agent are progressing well. I hope my Chinese chairman lets me go. That offer is said to be from Arsenal and this is a transfer I'd certainly support. I've enjoyed watching Carrasco at at Atletico in the past and for Belgium etc and to be honest at the time I couldn't believe that a player of his talent at his age made that move. I mean, I might be wrong and it might just be me, but I associate China as something of a retirement home for the big names. It's a lower standard of football, um, but also, of course, the reward financially is huge. And I just see it as the place players go when they're looking for a huge final contract. Um, it is worth noting, though, that Emery and San Leahy opted for the Suarez loan over a move for Carrasco in January. And we all know that that was a complete waste of time. But you'd probably imagine that that was due to Suarez being available on loan and that decision was as financial as much as it was football related. According to the Turkish media, Arsenal have been watching Besiktas midfielder Dorukan Tokoz. The 23-year-old has been linked with a move to the Premier League in the past, but it's said his impressive performance in the Turks' 2-0 win over France has put Europe's big boys on high alert. And the reports say Besiktas would be willing to let him leave for just €25 million. Euros. An update on the William Saliba situation as reported last week. It seems that St Etienne are keen to include a loan back option for at least a season if they're to sell the player. Now that would rule Arsenal out but United and City seem more open to that condition and so from what we understand it's time to look elsewhere. And just finally, Arsenal's new Adidas kits will be available to the fans on the 1st of July. Pictures have been doing the rounds and it's safe to say the response to them has been a positive one. Me personally, I've gone from saying I'll probably buy one to probably buying all three, to be honest. Um, don't forget, guys, hit subscribe, hit like. Um, if you're listening on the audio, uh, leave us a review on iTunes or wherever it is you're listening from. It really, really does help. Uh, that concludes today's edition of the Chronicles AFC Daily. We'll be bringing you more content, of course, uh, and continue to bring you content on a daily basis throughout the summer. So if you uh, haven't already hit that subscribe button, please, please do. And I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Until tomorrow's edition, take care. Bye-bye.